More than 500 students in the Metro East got the week off of school after a fire caused extensive damage to their 95-year-old school building. They'll likely be out of the building for several months. Five on your side, Holden Kerwicki has more on how district leaders plan to house their students for the rest of the school year. From the outside, Lewis and Clark Elementary looks like any other school in the Metro East. But inside, it's a different story. Inside our building, uh, there is extensive smoke damage to different portions of the building. Um, some areas look like nothing happened at all, and then other areas are just uh, covered. Thankfully, there were no students in the school Friday when a fire started in the basement. Um, smoke quickly went up the duct system and then spread throughout the school. Surfro has been called in to assist with the cleanup, but it could still be six to eight weeks before students in Lewis and Clark are allowed back in the building. School was canceled for this entire week. Um, we are in the process now of trying to place about 500 students. The current plan would split students between Hartford Elementary and nearby East Alton Wood River High School. It has been a logistical nightmare, um, making sure that we can fit everyone safely. Um, that trickles into transportation and shuttling. Um, of course, just like everywhere right now, we're short on bus drivers, and so we're limited with that. As the district searches for a third location, it's unclear if they even have the capability for e-learning. We just want to get them back to in-person. Um, remote is a great option, but at this time we don't even know about our devices and how usable they're going to be. That's why Principal Jill Christensen is asking for patience as they come up with a plan. These kids have been through so much and we just have to rally around them and rally around our teachers right now and do the very best we can to help these students succeed. In Wood River, Holding Kerwicki, five on your side. District leaders plan to post information on where each child's classroom will be located, busing information, and possible instructions for remote learning on the school's social media and website as soon as it's available. Another metro